welcome to our all about our new horse video you guys have been waiting for it we have puppies yes the puppies are we here. all have puppies she licked inside of my mouth yeah that's disgusting it happens all the time cookies here okay so let's get on with our video are all about our new horse video you guys have been asking us so many questions and this is the video that is going to answer it we have all of our puppies in here Ruby's on the floor and we're ready to just get right into this video so Cody's in the back back behind yeah the walls. our horses are behind us here all right so our new horse he is uh what breed is he Sophie thoroughbred and he is 17 years old, he is a thoroughbred, but he is a slow laid back thoroughbred. His owner has had him since she was a young girl and he has been the best horse that she's ever had. He is, how tall? 16 2, um, an inch taller than Tex. So yeah, we finally have a big horse, we have a tall horse. Um, who's, who is going to own this horse? Who's gonna, who, who is um, this horse for? All of us. He's for all of us. Mr. I'm going to, no. Okay, stop. I'm gonna get to ride him. Sophie's gonna get to ride him, and Gabby's gonna get to ride him. Essentially, so um, so here's how it's gonna work. So when we go there for just riding fun day, um, Sophie's gonna ride him. I'm gonna ride Storm, and then once I'm all done riding Storm, I'll hop on him and give him a, a workout. We do not know exactly how it's gonna work out yet, but that could be one of the scenarios. Our trainer is going to um, our trainers are going to help us with this. You guys might not know, but this horse um, is very well, very well known horse to race car driver. He knew this horse. He knew this would be a perfect horse for us, and that's how we ended up with him. A lot of you guys said, "Don't buy the first horse you tried," and what you don't know is that. Um, this time we decided to do things so differently. We messaged about hundreds of horses. We have been looking for months and months and months and um, we looked at a lot of video. We decided this time not to go and try a horse unless we knew it was going to be a good fit. Um, we didn't want to waste our time on horses that the video didn't look good or if they were um, too fast in the video. I like fast. Yeah, Gabby is getting I have like a pump. fast pony. Um, so this is the first horse that we actually got to try, but not because we weren't looking and not because we weren't um, ruling out other horses. We ruled out a lot of other horses. My um, dog was rolling with her mouth open. Essentially, we will show up to lessons and who and do whatever our trainers tell us to do. We had a lot of support and a lot of help finding this horse from our trainers, um, and they are running the show. They are running all of it. So essentially, when we decided to get another horse, we needed a horse that I could ride, that was big enough for me to ride, a horse that was slow enough for Sophie to ride, and a horse that could jump well enough for Gabby to um, learn on. And not do the crazy long reach. And no crazy long reaches. And no crazy stop the jump. We didn't want to get another beginning beginner horse because then we'd have two of the same level horses. We need to be really careful about what we decide, what we got this time. And our want list was huge, and I think we got it in this horse. He is big enough and slow enough for me to ride. He is slow enough and safe enough. And I think he babes with me for Sophie to ride. And, and he is slow enough. For me to jump. He is an option for all of us. The biggest thing that you guys don't know about our new horse is he's a lease. He's a lease. The only hardest part is saying goodbye to them. Yeah, and even though um, I said I would never lease a horse again, I could see in this situation where the horse that we need might not be the horse that we need in two years or in three years. So instead of buying another horse, I mean, we would have bought another horse, but this situation came up and it, it was perfect. So he has been there, done that horse that can fit all three of us, and he's a lease. I just think that those are all the things that we needed in our future horse and he matches. Another thing that is um, that you guys don't know is that we are doing a two week trial with him. I did not know that. 
Oh, so it's news to Gabby too. So basically, um, from now until the end of February, we are going to try this horse and see if he is exactly everything that we think he will be. I know that his owner is in love with him, has had him for a long time and takes such good care of him. She loves him and this lease thing is hard for her. She's moving away out of the province and trying to find the best options for her horse. Maybe we're it, maybe we're not it. Maybe he is good for us, maybe he's not. Um, we don't know for sure, but we're sure gonna give it our best and we're gonna try it out and we're gonna see. And this is where we are right now. And for whatever reason, God has brought this horse into our life and we're gonna, pursue it and see where this journey leads us. Sophie, first impressions on the new horse. Yay! So Gabby, first impressions on the new horse. I hope Storm does not get jealous. Yeah, I hope Storm does not get jealous too. I'm pretty sure that we'll find a way to make sure that Storm doesn't get jealous because Gabby is not going to stop riding Storm. She's not going to stop riding him in lessons. Sophie's going to still ride Storm. Sophie's going to still ride mm -hmm. Storm in lessons. Even if snow's falling off the roof, I'll ride Storm because they know he can be yeah, he's a really good horse for us, and I'm really happy to have him. Um, so, the big question is, what the heck is going to happen to Stella? This is my project pony. Are you? Do you still love yes, Stella? Yes, I love Stella so much. Stella is still our horse. We still love her. We are still working with her. Stella is healing right now. She's taking time to heal. She has issues. She is healing. When it comes to a time when we can do more with Stella, we will, and we will get her all the help and all the training that she needs. We have not forgotten about her, but we are loving having her home and letting her heal. I, this, this is my dream, having her here and getting to play with her and bond her, bond with her and brush her all the time. Another really good thing about this whole entire situation, I, I, I'm curious to see what you guys think, because I think that this situation is the perfect situation for us. Um, another thing about this situation is that his owner, um, she's not moving for a couple of weeks. So during our trial, she's gonna be able to come to the barn and help us adjust with him. So she'll be there to answer questions because she knows him best. And we won't be, won't be like when we got Sabrina and we didn't know anything and we didn't have anybody to help us. She, um, she is going to be there. She's going to do a first ride, the first couple of rides on him at our barn, get him through the spooky areas, get him through, um, you know, remember when we took Stella there and she was like, I hate this place. Well, he's not a galloping boy. Yeah, but she's going to take him through all that for us. We're going to go and we're going to watch and we're going to learn and we're going to kind of share him and she's going to help us adjust and him adjust and I think that is an amazing opportunity for us as well. So, so um, you guys should also know that our very first lesson on Dodo is tomorrow. Tomorrow. tomorrow so when you're watching day, this, this will be up tonight. So, so in the morning. Yeah, in the morning. So I don't know what's gonna happen. I have no idea. Our trainers, like I said, are taking charge of this whole entire situation. They're gonna monitor everything. They're going to. This is gonna be a whole different ball game. It's not gonna be us thrown with this new horse and just doing our own thing. We're gonna do things a lot differently than we did before. But anyway, that is it. Sabrina spooks were like the best spooks ever. So that is it, and we are going to end this video and go and give our horses hay and go to the barn. And play with them because we got manners for Carrie. And, and today we're going to the other barn where yeah. Storm is so I could test him and see if um, he's doing better. So yeah. I could fully ride him and yeah. not canter. So Which he probably will be because there's no bell boot rubbing on the cut. Yeah, so, so basically gonna we're going to go outside take care of our horses here, and then go to the barn and take care of our horses there. Because now we have four horses, you guys. Four ponies! Anyway, four ponies. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye! Bye. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.